This woman decided to wear a breast to the party. Cardi B. Cardi B. Hey, Cardi B. Mm, Kylie. Been through the jungle to get to the event. <laughs> Hello there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Today your girl is coming to you with a cap on and the red lipstick, which means her hair is not laid and her makeup is not flawless, but it is okay because today is not about me. Today is about the VMAs. And um, you know what? I have enjoyed doing reactions recently. Um, I saw some shots from the VMAs. I felt like I needed to, to just, you know, put a little opinion on some of the outfits that I've seen. You guys know I have loads of opinions when it comes to myself in outfits, but sometimes I've got some of celebrities. So we're gonna look at all of the VMA outfits that I can find, and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. Is it a slay or is it a nay? Like, why, why have you done this? I don't know, there's some that I've seen I'm just like, oh my gosh. So we're gonna give you my first impressions and we're gonna react to the VMA red carpet looks, darling. Okay, pulling up VMA looks 2018. And I hear it was actually a pink carpet. And our first look here is from Nicki Minaj. Um, she's wearing a swimsuit. You know what, I don't, I, I don't really know why, um, She's wearing a swimsuit with a choker. But you know, I do like the black lining around it. I think it looks nice. I don't know where the rest of the outfit's gone. It's slightly missing. We've got fishnet cum swimsuit, which means it's perfect for the beach. I'm not sure if it's perfect for the VMAs. I love the hair. I feel like she's got her like chun li esque middle part, shiny, glossy black hair thing that she always has going on but really what we have here is swimsuit with net i mean unless you work on a barge i don't know if it's entirely a look i'm loving nikki but you cute and i saw your performance and i loved nikki's performance outfit it slayed the gold and the pink that to me was fantastic this was like a walk-in trawler oopsie i mean next up we have black china Ooh. Her hair looks cute, her makeup looks cute. The outfit is a naked cape. I don't understand why you're caping on bra and pants. Um, Del Monte cape. I don't love it, I don't really like it. Um, I think she's really happy with her body and that's really important to be happy with your body. But there's a time and place for it to be seen. And I mean, there's just not, there's more like tassel than material. And then there's cape. I hate capes. No one should wear a cape, in my opinion. Not, not unless you're a superhero. And you're not giving me superhero Black China. But you look comfortable in your body. And for that, I will give you everything. You didn't let the Kardashians ruin you. <laughs> you're smiling with hope. Your veneers look fresh. <laughs> you look lovely. J-Lo. Does J-Lo ever age? Like, I feel like J-Lo never ages, which is fantastic. She's giving me metallic goddess with one leg. It's shining, shining, shining. Yes, girl, shining. And you know the way her leg is postulated, yeah? It's just so firm and strong. Every muscle is still there. Ugh. You know what, J-Lo? We don't like you because you're just so fantastic. Now, what I'll say is I feel like the dress is a little boring. It's a little boring. I love the metallic. But I feel like I've always seen a leg and a long dress on from J-Lo. It's iconic for her. She's got great legs, great body. I feel like I want to see something more avant-garde from J-Lo. But she does look stunning. And the dark eye makeup always looks good on her. Oh, mm, Kylie! I feel like I'm a huge fan of Kylie now. I wasn't that a huge fan of her before. But I am growing to like her a lot more. This is very dressed down for Kylie. Do you know what I've noticed actually about her? I feel like when she's in public or on red carpet and stuff, she's always a little bit more covered up. She's never got everything all out of doors. Say like on her Instagram, there's a lot of boob and bum. And I feel like on red carpet, she's always a bit more pared back. She's got a blazer suit, which I think looks fantastic on her. You can see her curves, but you can't see everything. She looks really elegant and almost a touch underdressed, but 
I feel like this is what she does nowadays. Like, she doesn't show as much whenever she's out in public, which, you know, I'm quite, I'm quite here for that. I quite like it. I think the blazer dress is gorgeous. I feel like I'd prefer it for dinner than the red carpet. But, you know, compare Kylie Jenner to Black China and Nicki Minaj. Were they even at the same event? I'm confused. Blake Lively. Um, I feel like the cutting of the suit is really nice. I hate the pants with the suit. That's what I'm gonna say. Tiana Taylor. Abs on 1000. We get it, Tiana. You're hot. Your body bangs. Your booty popping. You got snapback goals that I could only dream of. Dream of. Wishing on a star. I just wished I hoped. But Tiana Taylor, I've seen you do this before, babes. Secondly, you know what? Your abs are mesmerizing. They're actually mesmerizing. Oh, it's painful. But you look, you're giving me Tomb Raider. Let alone the fact that the shirt is torn. <laughs> Why is the shirt torn? <laughs> Been through the jungle to get to the event. <laughs> so in and arrived at the VMAs in a torn shirt. And the trousers with a with a the trouser part attached to briefs. I'm confused. To be honest, she, Tiana is lucky because she doesn't even need to wear clothes. It that doesn't even matter. Face popping, haircut popping, body popping, clothes torn, still look ten. The trainers, oh lord, the trainers. She's always gonna be cute and fantastic to me. The outfit's not great. I love Tiffany Hadiz. I feel like she's doing some amazing stuff when it comes to high fashion-y stuff. I've seen her on lots of covers, looking fierce. Like her styling team are doing an amazing job. But here, why has she got a rag on her head? I can't understand the rag. Please tell me why you're wearing it, babes. Um, I'm seeing a lot on, of skin on her and I'm not sure if it's my favorite part of skin. I like the idea of the dress. I don't like the idea of matching headwear. Unless you're going to a Nigerian auntie's wedding, your headwear should never wear match your clothing. This is not gele and rapass even. Tiff, I like the dress, sis, but the headpiece, mm, you look like an egg. It looks a little bit egg-like, egg I can't lie. It's just giving me egghead. Um, bearing in mind, I suffer with a very small head. I'm going to call it suffering. I have the head. It's how big the back of my head is. It's a fist. And so I have nightmares. The idea of just wrapping my head and it being so small. It would be a pin on the body. And yeah, no, not great. Okay, we've next got Iggy Azalea. I'm not a huge Iggy Azalea fan, but I am a fan of this outfit. I love it. I love the skirt. I love the, I hate the boots. Love the skirt. Love the corset top. top. Hate Iggy's hair. Love it. So I'm love hate about this. Love hate about this. Um, Iggy is giving me A-line fun skater girl skirt. I like the detailing and stuff on it. I feel like this is what you should wear to, I, who am I? I'm not an expert. I've never been invited to the VMAs, but I do like the idea of like fun, kind of edgy, because to me right now, it's looking very higgledy piggledy. We've got elegant J-Lo. We've got Tiana Taylor in some, you know, um, Tomb Raider outfit. And we've got Iggy in the middle. Mm, I don't, I wonder what the invite says. What's the clothing invite for the um, VMAs? I'm not sure. BB Rexa. BB, your leg looks like a chicken that I wouldn't mind chewing on. Your leg looks so good. That's just what I gotta say. Leg looking good, body looking good. She's looking confident in herself. Her haircut and makeup looks good. I love her one shoulder. I love the outfit. I don't love the material, but I'm seeing a lot of metallic going on. And I like this, like, listen, your girl's gonna need a crunch corner. <laughs> I'm hungry as I'm reviewing. I'm feeling hungry. Maybe it's BB Rex's leg. Cardi B. 
Cardi B, hey, Cardi B, our girl on the carpet. I wouldn't expect this outfit from her, but I really like it. I love the pink, pinky magneta, magneta? How do you say magneta? Is it magneta? Magenta, magenta, that's what you call it. I love this magenta. Those boobies looking healthy, darling, healthy, healthy boobage. Probably a breastfeeding mother at this moment in time. I don't know, you can't talk about that, but breastfeeding boobs look fantastic. They look a lot fuller, you know, on the top. You know, they're filled with goodness. Been there, done that. Um, she looks good. Unfortunately, the um, hairdo slash wig was giving me grandma. It was giving me um, pensioner vibes. Cardi B is only 25. For some reason, she looks older. The styling makes her look like a really good looking older woman. And I'm not talking about like, you know, 50s, 60s, but it's just giving me, you know, like old school Tina Turner. The hairdo isn't my favorite. I think she looks really nice. Shay Mitchell. What does she even do? I don't know what Shay Mitchell does right now, because I know she was on Pretty Little Liars, but she destroyed the red carpet. She looks uh, amazing. Um, hair, makeup, skin, body, everything. Shay Mitchell. I don't think I've seen this girl look out of place one time ever. She's probably self-styling as well. She looks phenomenal. The dress, like it's short, it's flirty, it's fun. It's also elegant. We've got a little bit of leg, a little bit of nipple to the wind, a little shoulder, oh my, and color, and tannage. Nah, Shay, she gets my number one. She gets my number one, Shay. The hair, the beauty, oh Lord. She looks so good. The way it looks on her, it's just so flattering. She looks very comfortable. You know I me, mean? I like a little nipple to the wind, but just not too much. And it's like just right on the cusp, you know? We, we just, it wouldn't be one foul swoop of boobies out, just a little bit. And she's got still got wiggle room. Her areola is comfortably hiding. You look great, Shay. Quavo and Offset. Uncle Kofi and Charlie. <laughs> That's what they look like. They look like my uncles. I almost thought that you could see Quavo's toes through those shoes, but you can't. I do like the fact that they've got the metallic trend going on. Quavo's jacket is banging. That like puffer banging, that puffer jacket in that copper. I just, I just, I do you know, I don't really like to comment on men's styles. I feel like I know nothing about it. Amber Rose, Amber Rose. We get it, we get it, slut walk. Is that what we call it? Is it called the slut walk? You like it. You're, you're loud and proud in your sexuality. That is fine. I don't understand why you're wearing a cat woman outfit to the VMAs. It's not even a fancy dress. October is here, you know. October is coming. You can wear that for Halloween. Why are you wearing it to the VMAs? You went to the wrong party. You got the wrong invitation. Halloween is in like two months. I wanted to see a real outfit from Amber. But this is just like, I didn't get the memo. And she's sitting there confidently, so she's so happy. And you know, as long as you're confident and you're happy, even if you wear the wrong outfit, imagine if you turn up to the wedding in playing 80s neon gear. Doesn't matter, as long as you're confident in it. And Amber, she's giving me confidence, as much as I'm like, why are you wearing fancy dress to the VMAs? You know, she's happy. Poke someone's eye out with those breasts and hopefully you whip Kanye into shape. Rita Ora, she's giving me a naked with black lace curtain. That's it. Lovely body, but it's a neck curtain with black lace in. Scissor, I love Scissor's shoes and her nail polish on her toes. The neon green looks so good. I've got yellow on my toes right now, so I feel like we're twinning. Love the dress, don't love the length on her. It looks a little bit like a hairy rug. And she's so cool and so fun and such a vibe. I wanted more vibe. Like, I loved her at the Met Gala. She looks stunning. This is just a bit hairy. Ariana Grande, a little pocket rocket, right? That is what she is. I love her dress. Tinkerbell, giving me silvery Tinkerbell realness. It's fun, it's cute. She looks amazing. The wig, I hate it. She's wearing a wig. Meanwhile, Pete, I love Pete Davidson. I was a fan of him before um, 
him and her got together. I think he's hilarious. He's on Saturday Night Live. I actually thought he was kind of cute in his own weirdo looking way. But why is he wearing, oh, I thought he was wearing Adidas. I don't even know what the trainers are. Just some baggy trousers and a jumper and trainers. But he's a new, he's from Jersey, so. But Ariana, stunning. I don't know why they put her in that wig. But I think Ariana does have some issues with her hair, which is why she always wears the ponytail. But the wig isn't even good. You need to find Kylie's hairstylist because they will lay they will lay you with a nice little lace front for the white girls, you know. You'll you'll be good, girl. Or we can hook you up with some white hair. Camilla Cabello. Mmm. In isolation, I like this look. In comparison to everyone else at the party, I don't like the look. She looks amazing, but now I feel like she looks out of place compared to everyone else's ramshackled outfits. This is giving me cloud and elegance and Oscars. Again, she got the memo to the wrong party, but she looks nice as an individual. It suits her a little bit, a little bit mature, a little bit aged because she's quite young, but I think it looks fantastic on her. Oh, this woman decided to wear a breast to the party. Just a single breast, like, hi, <laughs> my breast is arrived. <laughs> she actually just wore breast to the party. Well, who is this? And Deej, Deej Loaf and Sky from Black Ink. Okay, this is a show in the US. I don't think we have that. I think it's about tattoos. I think I've seen some clips before. I actually like the Deej Lowe's um, flamboyant butterfly paper bag outfit. I kind of like it. She kind of looks a bit like Mary J. Blige, but why the Sky Girl came with just a breast and she's posing, she prepared that pose in the mirror. I wonder if she was ever asking herself like, should I put both breasts out or just one breast? Do I take off my jacket? Do I keep it on? I don't understand why your left breast was invited before your right breast. And um, I love the suit. Why the breast has to come out of the suit, I don't understand. Why is the breast coming out of the suit? Where's the buttons and where's your top, babes? If it makes you happy, Feed the world. Sophia Carson. She looks really cute. I love her dress. I love the detailing and like the panel and the way the neck goes round. I like her leg. I like her shoe. This I really like. I think it really, really suits her. She looks great. Dasha from Orange is the New Black. I really like her character. She's got a lot of body, a lot of good body, you know, the power in that body. I don't feel like the dress is flattering. It's actually giving me shivers. I like your makeup though. I think it looks really fantastic. I think she could have just gone with a nice simple black dress. Too much. You know when they said the theme is silver and you went silver eye, silver shoe, silver dress, silver underwear, silver in the hair. <laughs> just, just too much. It's just too much. Winnie Harlow. She looks flawless. Hair flawless. Makeup flawless. Dress flawless. She looks great, but I feel like I see this look from Winnie, and I love you, babe, you're gorgeous, you're fantastic. I've seen this a fair few times. Like, she looks good naked, basically. <laughs> She's got the body for it. She's very unique and fantastic looking. I feel like I've seen see-through tassel, silvery or white from her regularly. Oh, Winnie had two red carpet looks. Okay, this one I really like. Again, it's always see-through, but I really like this black number on her, because I think it's a little bit different just shows her really gorgeous body underneath and she looks flawless. Why is Winnie the only one with um, two looks? DJ Khaled and his family versace out. His wife is so cute. I love the fact that they're matching family. I have nothing bad to say. Um, I like the dramatic prints. I like Versace and I think they look gorgeous together. Okay guys, I think that is it from me. Just me showing my two pens on VMA outfits. Are there any outfits that you saw that were your favorite or that you really liked or that you agreed with me or disagree with me? Let me tell you people, I am not an expert in anything. I am just a woman who just has a little opinion over here. Meanwhile, I don't even have eyelashes on and my makeup is not laid. So really, I'm looking from afar. Um, I think everyone is beautiful and gorgeous in their own way. And clothing is just a reflection of how people like to style for themselves for that one day, and it doesn't mean that much. So I don't want anyone to take it offensively or be upset. Like imagine if I meet the celebs one day and they're like, you dissed me. 
<laughs> I'm not dissing anyone. They're all fantastic. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And in the meantime, I will catch you later. Bye.